What's up? It's the Brunch Breakdown. DD out here in Los Angeles. Dan is in Pittsburgh. And Chris is, you know, life happens. Babies christening, tubes and ears, bunch of stuff going on with Chris. <laughs> and dude, I'm telling you, I'm going to start. He's now named Carmen San Diego until further notice. It's like, <laughs> right. Where Can't in find the, the world guy. is Chris Gates? Can't Seriously. find the guy. Can't find the guy. Here, this is the yeah. longest streak we've had without one host. The longest consecutive streak. And uh, you know, I was gonna give him credit that it was for him, he was on a good streak of his own there. But yeah, here we are weeks into this thing now, and still uh still no sign of him and no no assurances for next week. We can keep saying we hope, <laughs> but all we can do is hope. <laughs> <laughs> There's just too many brunches in a row. He just got too full. It just yeah. was against his diet plan. He didn't want his clients thinking that he was like eating too many like rich brunches. So he was like, you know, I gotta, I gotta take a break. It's heavy, so. it's heavy stuff sometimes. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Sometimes it is. Sometimes it is. All right. Well, today on the brunch breakdown, huh, something that's near and dear to me and Dan's heart. Express is filing for bankruptcy, and. We don't know what to do with ourselves. And closing a bunch of stores, we're going to talk about that. So, and because of Express, we're going to have a mall draft. We're going to draft our favorite things is stores in malls or classic stores for malls. Some might be open now. Some might be closed. We're going to be talking about that. We've got Brunch Court for the first time in a minute, so I can't wait to see what's in there because I have no idea what's going on in Brunch Court. We've got beer. We've got music. we got a lot. It's the Brunch Breakdown. Let's get to it, Dan. Yeah, everywhere that you can find podcasts is where you can find the brunch breakdown. It's it's that simple. We have new episodes, whether it's two of us or three of us or however many of us there are. (laughs) New episodes are still coming your way each and every Wednesday. Just follow or subscribe, whatever verb they want to call it. Do that thing at that place that you find those things. Okay, brunch breakdown (laughs) every Wednesday. Uh, Leave us a review. While you're there, uh, and Dee, you mentioned brunch court, and so often the audio only tells half the story, and the the the, the visuals are an key important factor. So you can check out those full video episodes as well, so you can see our beautiful shining faces here from uh, coast to coast on the uh, video episodes, and those are on YouTube and Facebook, and now on Spotify. They premiere at noon Eastern, nine a.m. Pacific, and on demand anytime you want to watch anywhere after that. Of course, we're everywhere on social media at the handle at Brunch Breakdown. That includes Facebook and X and Instagram and wherever else we decide to show up. But we're everywhere. We're there. You'll find the Brunch Bites throughout the week. And then, of course, we give you what we're listening to. Put that into a nice little playlist for you. It's already assembled, ready to go. No instructions needed. Go to Spotify every Friday. Search Sounds of Brunch. Tell Alexa. Tell Google. Tell anybody. Siri. Play me the sounds of brunch. And right. I, I literally shouldn't have done that because <laughs> Siri is now literally doing that on my phone as I have it sitting here next to me. Gosh, <laughs> of all this time, of all this time, that's never happened before. But do that. Do that. Sounds of brunch every Friday exclusively on Spotify. And another thing to look out for if you're watching the video of the brunch breakdown is that I got to tighten up my freaking swivel chair here because it is like full like going down i've already like had to like <laughs> fix it like twice so i'm just going to be constantly shrinking That's and then going back up trick, and, yeah. and coming back up during the show so just uh let you know it's the chair and uh that's what's about to be happening so i can't wait i'm excited that i get to witness this for the next hour or so <laughs> all right well uh dan uh get it off your chest man what's been going on well i'll tell you what's been going on dd um last week was Take your kid to work day. Oh, God. <laughs> who, who is this holiday like actually for? Is it for the adults? Is it for the kids? Because all I saw last week were adults having to drag their kids around to keep them busy over the course of a nine hour work day. And when the adults had to actually be busy themselves, like take a meeting or something, then what were the kids doing? They were like just coloring or playing on their tablet or something like that. And like, there's nothing wrong with that, but this isn't taking your kid to like, this isn't what is meant for this holiday where it's take your kid to learn what mom or dad does at work. And 
I'm sure there's some of that, but the majority of the day is spent trying to keep the kids busy and keep the kids happy and distracted, but also not distracting coworkers, which was a failure in my work establishment, by the way. Mm -hmm. Um, and so then most of the time, then the adults not working. So it was just like a free day to get away with not working because your kid is there and maybe you get to leave early because I got my kid with me. Um, but then when you actually have to do work, buckle down and get some work done, what's your kid doing? And I'm not saying let's let's just do away with this. I got to enjoy take your kid to work day when I was a kid. Um, but I think we need some changes. And I think maybe we start with like an age limit. The kids that were around my office were too young to be soaking anything up. And they were more asking him about well, when do we get to leave? Like, when do we having lunch? And again, like the tablet and the coloring. So it's just like a free day of daycare then. So maybe that's like what's what you're getting out of this. So please, universe, world, send your suggestions. Let's fix take your kid to work day. Um, because from what I can tell, this day ends up wasting time for both the adults and the kids who in the end don't want to be there and just want to go home. And there's not a whole lot of just learning going on. So Dee, Dee I know you with you take the kid to work day for you is different. It sometimes, different. You're, sometimes your kids are taking you to work. You know what I mean? Maybe it's a little reversal sometimes for you. Um, but you at least are a parent that might, you might be able to chime in with some, some ideas here that it's just, it just seems like the system's broken and I don't know how to fix it. Okay. So here's the problem with take your kid to work day in 2024. It's everybody's job. Like most jobs are digital. So like mm -hmm. your kid can't do your job. Your kid's not going to be on Slack. Your kid can barely, if your kids, if you're a teacher, I guess your kid could go, but like so much of what you do is on a computer in a system. They can't grade papers for you anymore. Like, unless you're a kindergarten teacher or something like that. But if mm -hmm. you are any other higher grade, like you barely even do any of that stuff anymore. Like the way education is, is completely different now when it comes to, because there are some schools that are like, we don't do homework. We don't do all these like worksheet things or whatever, like, you know, and some schools don't even have grades, like who knows, but like, there are just, there's so many jobs that used to be like, I remember I went to work with my dad in high school. My dad worked in a factory. Okay. Mm -hmm. So if that was the hardest day of work of my life <laughs> was going to follow my dad around with work for one day. One day, it was insane how many miles that dude puts in. I was like, this is crazy. What is going on? It was work. I was like, I'm never doing this again. Like, crazy. And that is, to me, what, like, you know, bring your kid to a work day should be. Is like, oh, yeah, mom, dad, we work fucking hard. Like, that's what we do. <laughs> now, it's hard to show that. It's not saying that your parents don't, your kids don't, work, your parents don't work hard anymore. It's just hard to show it. It just looks like, like, you were talking about the tablet. My kids think they do what like me and Siobhan do like on their tablets. <laughs> right. They just think it. They're just like, yeah, like, sorry, like, yeah. Oh, cool, mom. You produce three TV shows in a day. Like, I'm on my I'm, yeah, look, I'm on my computer too. <laughs> <laughs> so it's just like hard to show. And you know, and I just feel like that's the problem with it now, is that like you you used to be able to do stuff with your parent, but now like you can't. Like, you just, you kind of can't. It's like, you know, Dan, if you had kids, like, could, what would your kid do at your work? Like, what would your kid do? Like, it would be very difficult <laughs> to find something. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. It's so much of what I do is is digital. It wouldn't be. You're, you're a great example with a teacher. Like, oh, come help me put these these uh, uh, test answer sheets through the Scantron scanner. That's not happening anymore. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so what do you do? What do you do yeah. with it? The system is broken because of the modern age of our society with the workplace being so digital. You're you're exactly, you're spot on. That is the problem. Yeah. And so they can't learn. They can't partake. Yeah, it's it's weird. It's like, it's cool that they still do it. I just am like, you know, it's like, I don't know what your kid's doing now. Like, it was just different. Right. You used to be able to give your kid busy work and stuff, but like yeah. now you kind of can't even do that. Can't like, even do I it. Don't, yeah. Yeah. It's weird. Yeah. So needs to change. Needs, needs to, to change. change. We need to change it up. Oh man. Huh. Well, here we go, guys. Uh, it's not sports brunch, but listen, Anthony Edwards is what we need in our in our lives. Okay. 
place for the Minnesota Timberwolves. If you don't know about Anthony Edwards, God damn it, you need to know about him. They just I, I keep I keep forgetting to say the Timberwolves when I talk about him. I just talk about him. I'm like, he swept yeah. the Suns yeah. last night. <laughs> Dunked on Kevin Durant. Just shut everybody down. He's the guy we need. He's not the best player in the NBA. No, he's not. Top five, he's definitely getting there. But the best player in the NBA doesn't even care about being the best player in the NBA. His name is Nikola Jokic. He doesn't care about it. I want my favorite player in the NBA or the best player in the NBA to care about being the best player in the NBA. I want them not to just worry about getting back to his native country at the end of the season and go race horses. I don't <laughs> want that. I'm sorry. Shouts to Jokic. He's cool. But I get so sick of hearing people say, why does nobody respect Jokic? It's not that nobody respects Jokic. It's just that we want the next Kobe. We want the next Michael. We want the next LeBron. We want the next person who's going to be fun for basketball that actually wants to be there. That's what we want. It has nothing to do with his talent. Here's the thing. Anthony Edwards, he's our guy. And so if you tune into the NBA playoffs next round, they're going to be playing most likely the Nuggets if the Lakers pull off some miracle and win three straight games, which isn't going to happen, they'll play the Lakers. But they're going to play the Nuggets. And I need everybody to be on the same page rooting for Anthony Edwards and the team that he plays for in Minnesota. That's what we all need. We need the T-Wolves to go to the NBA Finals. And Anthony Edwards is incredible. He's incredible. He's incredible. He's incredible. And I've been saying this since 2021 at a press conference that he he was asked, because Alex Rodriguez and some other dude in their group bought the Minnesota Timberwolves, right? And he was asked, oh, so what do you think about uh, Alex Rodriguez? And he goes, I have no idea who that guy is. I don't watch baseball. He said that in 2021. <laughs> I love this kid. I love this kid so much because he's just so funny and so charismatic and so awesome and just great at basketball. And I need him to be the guy. So like, this is just me getting that off my chest. I love Anthony Edwards and I need you all to love him too. Watch his highlights. You know, nothing about him. He's incredible. The and end. he, he respects the game so much. And like, if you heard like the verbal bouquets, he was giving Kevin Durant. Oh yeah. After the game last night was just like, this is at least like refreshing you know, to hear stuff like that, where, you know, we're in an era where players team up now more than ever and are friendly now more so than ever. But then at the same time, it gets like so vicious on the court that it, it was like at least refreshing to hear that he respects a guy like Kevin Durant is his favorite player. And, and even what KD said about him, probably even more so. Um, but yeah, you're, you're absolutely right. We need that a, a younger guy that people can get behind. I mean, Jokic, it's just like, he's just like, when is parade? When is parade? Ugh. <laughs> Sigh. How many more days till I get to go home, ride my horses? Yeah, like, not Don't an exciting it. guy to get behind. Nobody wants that. Nobody no. wants that. So I'm I'm with you. The Ant-Man. Let's go. Let's go. Dude, and the, another thing, because you guys know me, I'm I'm ageist. I don't like old people. So soon, mm -hmm. so at some point, I'm not gonna like myself in the next twenty years or so. Yeah. But like, here's the thing: like, he was out there calling Kevin Durant an old motherfucker in Game One. He was right. literally saying that to <laughs> Kevin Durant. All right. Like, <laughs> and just smile. I love how he just KD. There were moments he would just smile at him, just yeah. like, like this is great. This is great. This is the guy. It's like. It was it was very interesting watching somebody be that in Katie's face. And it's like you're just watching like Katie realize, like, yep, I'm 35 years old. Like, yeah. It's, My days uh, are he's, numbered. He's true. He's true. My days are numbered. And yeah. it's uh yeah, it's man, man oh man. But Anthony Edwards, he's the greatest friggin' just NBA referees. If you listen to the brunch breakdown, we need your help too. Get it, get it done. Odds, odds that Kevin Durant ends up on the Timberwolves next year. Because <laughs> he ain't staying with the Suns, I tell you that right now, <laughs> dude. No one's staying with the Suns. I don't. Him and right. Booker are gone. And Booker I think are it's, gone. Yeah. Yep. I think this was the end. Bradley up. Beal will be left holding a very big bag of cash <laughs> by himself, <laughs> right, in Phoenix next year. <laughs> Man. All right. Well, let's open up some brews, Dan. What you got? It's brews day. Let's go. I've got. A special bruise day here today Ooh. because okay. probably my second favorite brewery on the planet from Richmond, Virginia, does not distribute to Pennsylvania. Uh, you can purchase it, 
but it costs a lot. And aesthetically, it's probably my favorite brewery uh, in the world. And of course, I'm talking about the Vale. And we were at a uh, celebrating a friend's birthday over the weekend. And I caught my eyes on that Vale logo on the can. And I could not have grabbed this thing fast enough from uh, caught it at a house of a thousand beers, of course, and makes sense. And of course, they had uh, this little dandy right here, right here. And this is the uh, Halcyon Three. So this has now become a series with them, and they partnered with it's uh, Hudson Valley Brewing is who they partners with for uh, Halcyon Three. And this is a sour double IPA. Okay, so. Ooh. Literally perfection. Sour double IPA with orange, vanilla, lemon zest, lavender, lactose, and citra hops. And let me tell you what, brother, this thing was, it's beautiful. It's super delicious. It is citrusy. It's not overly lemon, but you get that little bit of the tartness and sour from the lemon and it, because of that lactose, you get kind of the creaminess. It's not overly sweet. It's super, super tasty. The veil can do no wrong. Um, it was an expensive purchase, but well, well worth it. And um, especially because of how hard it is to get in these parts. Uh, but the veil from Richmond, Virginia, the sour dippa, I mean, just, just made my day. Just made my day. Just wonderful, oh my wonderful God. beer. Yeah. That sounds delicious. Yeah. It's what's it's the ABV phenomenal. on that? Eight percent. Eight percent. Eight percent. So bad. we're a good level. Yeah. With the dipper, you don't that can get a little high, but that's not not bad at all. Very, very manageable. Yeah, that's not bad. Yeah, I thought 8%. you were gonna be like 10 or something. <laughs> right. <laughs> you know? It's hard yeah. to find I mean, you don't really you rarely find a uh, like a double IPA that's like less than nine. True. Honestly. You're absolutely right. You know what I mean? You're absolutely right. So, I mean, it's really unlike any other beer I've ever had. A lot of those ingredients are familiar, yeah. but not together and not in a sour double IPA either. It's usually one or the other and beautiful. Just a beautiful Ooh. beer. Like it. Like it. Yeah. All right. Uh, well, well, I was uh, on a little uh, mini vacation with the fam this week, went to mm -hmm. Great Wolf Lodge out in Orange County, went to Disneyland, did that stuff with the kids and all that. Good times. Uh, and one thing that uh, dad got to do was go to Golden Road Brewery in Orange County, which is beautiful facility. Love it. So much outdoor space. They even have like an outdoor little play area for the kids, which was awesome because like we just had sat at the picnic table just got to eat a bunch of really good food. Golden Road was really good food. And uh, just, you know, have some brewskis while the kids literally ran around and did cartwheels and we were just doing whatever. And um, so I had the mango cart LA style, which I'd never had before. And they put tahine all around the rim. Oh. And a little extra lime, this lime spice thing inside it. And it just, I was like, I did not think of putting tahini on a mango, on the mango cart. And now that's the only way I can have it. <laughs> so it's like, I have mango cart in my fridge and I'm going to be putting tahini on it probably tonight. And I'm telling you, it is, it just adds to it's because the mango cart is damn near per It's basically a perfect beer. Yeah, and true. Putting tahini around the rim just makes you feel like, oh, and the weather was perfect. It was like, 80 to like 75 degrees it was awesome it was just it's a beautiful beer and it's a crushable beer it's like four maybe it's 4.5 4, 5, 4 yeah. something like that like you can crush some mango carts do some do some damage with those and i'm telling you dude i might be drinking mango cart all summer because of my new la style find that they only do at the brewery so like wow i know they don't do that you get mango cart anywhere else just get mango cart you get it at the brewery you can get it la style it's on the menu and i was like what's la style they're like all right Let's do it. Now I've I've been changed for life. For life. That's genius. That's yeah. genius. Because you don't off, off, often find a good um covered rim with beer. There are a handful of select yeah. ones out there that kind of make it special. And that sounds I mean, how, how did nobody else think of that? That's how do we not think of that? Dude, I don't know. I don't know why everybody just doesn't do it automatically. Like, I'm surprised that after that, I was like, damn, like yeah, this is crazy. But it's literally just 
at the brewery is like the only they they do it there. It's on the menu, LA style. And I'm like, all right. So shouts to amazing. Golden Road, man. I'm Pretty gonna be doing that. Road. I'm gonna be doing that all summer. I can guarantee you that. I've got to we've got you Tahin, should. we've got the room yes. equipment. We're we're ready to go. And it's it's mango cart season pretty much around here. We've got a week full of 80 degree weather in Ooh. Western PA. Yes. The rain has stopped. The sun is shining. It's be- we are ready. We are ready for some mango cart season. I love that. Dude, I am with you. The thing I'm so happy about is like leaving my house and it not being because it's been warm here for the last probably like few weeks or whatever. But it's nice that like this morning I, I walked out of the house and it was already like hot. It was already nice. Mm. It's it like it's summer. We're done. Yeah. <laughs> We're done. <laughs> it's, it's summer now. For Love sure. it so much. Well, cheers, Daniel. Cheers. Cheers. A couple winners. Cheers. Love it. All right. Well, after we talked about such fun things like brewskis, it's time to talk about some sad. Oh. Some near and dear to me and Dan's heart. <sighs> Express is filing for bankruptcy, closing a bunch of stores. And I don't we could be we're seeing the end of Express right in front of us so first boston market outback red lobster now express which me and dan love i love love express love (laughs) and this hurts knowing that it could be coming to an end i literally don't know where i'm going to buy clothes i literally don't know where i'm going to buy suits that's for damn sure uh, if they go completely under, you mentioned, yeah, they're closing like almost a hundred stores. They have like 500, yeah. a little bit over 500 stores. They're closing like a fifth of them. I've been for, I literally went into like legal documents to find the list when this news broke. Cause I was so terrified. I'm not kidding you. It's like 142 page PDF that I'm scrolling on my phone. Every stoplight on my way home from work, terrified of this news where, what stores are closing. Thankfully for now, none around me. Um, but you're right. It's kind of like the end is near. This is not a good sign at all. And it's like, how did this happen? Where are people that, where are well-dressed people like you and I buying their clothes, if not express? Dude, you know, it, they said the cause was like, because of everyone working from home now. And so there's no need for you either need sweatpants or you need like dress clothes. You don't need any of like the business casual because we're talking about suits, but like express was that like modern sweater, you know, dress, you know, like, you know, slacks, all that stuff that like you could get to like do the business casual look, but now less people need business casual because less people are going into an office or you're going to an office less. Maybe you're going one or two days a week. You were going, right. basically you were going every day. Now less people are going and they said that is the cause of all of this. Well, and that's a shame because you know what you make, that's a good point. It's a fair point. It's a valid point. At the same time, people, and we've talked about this and I've preached about this on this podcast. They dress like bums in places they shouldn't be dressing like bums. Yes. When you're going out to the theater, put on a collar. Leave the oh. jeans, leave the blue jeans at home, at least, okay? Pick up a couple pairs of chinos. All right, when you go out to kind of a trendy restaurant, don't wear a t-shirt unless you're putting like a sport coat over it. Throw on a nicer shirt. Throw on a sweater. Come on, people. We're getting way too relaxed with clothes. Now, Trust me, I'm about the business casual environment. I still got to wear a full long sleeve button up shirt to work and chinos. We're not even in business casual yet. We barely dip into that on a Friday in the summer. We barely get there. So (laughs) I get it. I'd rather be more comfortable, but we still need these clothes. We still need express that just that elevated, just that slightly elevated look. We don't have enough of it. There's And there's plenty of places where we should be wearing it and people just aren't. Like, it just, it just bothers me that, like, people just don't want to look nice ever. 
that's ever, what makes me sad ever. about this. Is like, so you literally just in your closet have sweatpants and a suit. Nothing in between. Honestly. You just have sweats and a suit. What is wrong with people? <laughs> like, th- that's the problem that you see when you go to the theater, when you go places, you go to a nice restaurant stuff. It's like, well, I'm not going to wear a suit and I'm not going to wear my sweats. So what? I just. So you end up in a T-shirt in blue jeans. Mm-hmm. There's too I, much of it. It's too it, much it of just, it. And that's where we miss where we're gonna miss Express because because their whole business model is being that business casual. Because like Gap, you get you get a wide range of things, but mm-hmm. like you get a wide range of things, different stores, you get a wide range of t-shirts and graphic tees and stuff. And it's like Express is like, no, we're gonna look nice. We're gonna make you look nice, we're mm-hmm. gonna make you look modern. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do it at an affordable price. We're gonna send you coupons all the goddamn time. We're going to <laughs> we're our store's basically gonna be free yep. for the whole month of November. Like it, it, it they God, they do the Lord's work for people. <laughs> and oh, it makes me sad, dude. It hurts. Talking about it just makes me hurt more. I'm going to miss Express. I, I know. I, it's, you're right about the coupons constantly. <laughs> Express cash. They're like, haven't spent money here in a while? Here's some free money. Spend it here. Here's some Express Dude, cash. The funny part <laughs> about Express cash, man, maybe this is another reason why they're filing for bankruptcy. Right. Is that like, I swear, I would just like put stuff like in the cart, not having any, because like it tells you to put stuff in the cart. It's like, oh, see the price, put it in the cart. So yep. I put stuff in the cart, and all of a sudden it's like, oh, you have $150 of Express <laughs> Cash. I'm like, no, I don't. <laughs> Where did this come from? No, I don't. Right. But yeah, like, oh, man. Gonna miss it. We have to try. I, I don't know if it's, is it savable? I don't know. Because bankruptcy and a fifth of the store is closing. I mean, can we go online only? Can we go the Bed Bath and Beyond route without going drastic? You know, where they're at least saved as our online retailer now. Maybe you cut some of the the leases at these malls, save a little money that way. But I literally, I, I literally, where am I? Where am I supposed to buy clothes? I literally don't know where I'm going to buy clothes. Honestly, even my casual stuff, nicer stuff. I'm not going to Old Navy. It's not happening. No, you're not going to Old Navy. Like, no, you're not. Jeez. Like, nobody wants to fight with people and fight through clothes going to freaking Macy's. No. Nobody wants to do that either. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Like, I don't know how we save Express, but I do know this. If Express really does make this terrible turn, Mm -hmm. I'm going to end up with, like, so many suits with nowhere to go. So... (laughs) For anyone out there who's getting married that is like a friend of a friend of a friend, I'm just letting you know, I'm a really good wedding guest. Like, you know, and I like to, and I need a place to wear these suits. And I give good gifts. My wife's a good time. You know, just saying. Holler at your boy if you need (laughs) a little bit more life at your wedding. Someone drops out last minute, you know, you get a cousin that's just like, oh yeah, I'm not coming now which definitely happens whenever you get married. So anybody yep. who's getting married, just know that that happens a lot. Yep. Just holler at your boy. I will take the spot. I'll bring a good gift. I'm a good time. I need a place to wear my pink suit. Like I need a place. <laughs> I'm buying them in all colors. God damn it, Dan. I'm buying them in all colors. I'm going to do the all exact colors. same. I will absolutely do the same because I will refuse to wear a suit, buy a suit from anywhere else. I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to unload. I had, yeah. had this conversation with my wife. She's like, I, I need, you know, I'm going to get dresses there. You're going to get suits. We're just going to spend an obnoxious amount of money, but realize we're not going to spend money on clothing for like who knows how many years until we discover somewhere else exactly. to buy clothes. Because we just, you know? we just won't. We just won't. But that's another thing. You mentioned people getting married and, and such. If you're listening to this podcast and you're in a relationship or you're married and you, you're, you're, you, you like being home, your home bodies, you like doing stuff like that. And you work from home, or your wife, or your husband, your significant other also works from home. Like, dress up every once in a while. Look good for each other. <laughs> Even if you're staying a night in, look good for each other. Put on some nice clothes. Leave the sweats in the drawer, you know. You don't have to have fancy plans. Just just dress up for each other and go buy that 
those clothes at Express. Yes. God, man. Dude, the pandemic really did ruin us. Yep. All. Yes, it, it really did. did. It ruined us all. Like, we've just gotten sloppier, gotten lazier. Mm -hmm. We just don't care about what we look like. And I thought we'd be out of this by now. But when I look around, I'm just like, man. It's almost getting worse sometimes. It's, yeah. Ah. Uh, I just and express leaving us. This isn't good, dude. This isn't good. It's you can't not. go get your you can't go get your nice clothes from Target, guys. <laughs> <laughs> you know? I'm just man, dude. So Sorry. any 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 future gifts, anniversary gifts, birthday gifts, anything like that. Anybody listening right now that is close enough friends with us, uh, express gift cards exclusively. It's all we're asking for. That's it. That's all we want. That's, That's all we want. Express. Friend of the show, too, by the way. Express. Anytime we mention them on the socials, yes. they hit us up. You know, shouts to Express. They love us. And What uh, happened to the kid yeah. with the NIL deal? Who was the kid with the NIL deal? deal oh, that, CJ uh, Stroud. CJ Stroud. Oh, right. Well, he's yes. fine now, but. <laughs> he's good <laughs> he bought all the suits for the offensive linemen right yeah yeah yeah. Ooh, man we yeah, yeah we talk express a lot on this show we care we care friends yeah. of the friends of the program and try to save it as much as we can one suit at a time and, people, <laughs> and you know what's funny about that is people thought he wasn't the best quarterback in the draft and oh did we find out that he was and you know why because express <laughs> that's why because he gets up in the morning and puts on decent clothes. That's right. That's why C.J. Stroud was one of the best quarterbacks in the NFL from day one. C.J. Stroud was. And it's because he knows how to dress. He gets up in the morning with his head held high and cares what he puts on. <laughs> like, he, you're not going to see C.J. Stroud at freaking Hamilton, which is local theater in Houston, Texas or whatever, like, wearing the T-shirt. It's not happening. It's not no going to be – steakhouse wearing a t-shirt and ripped jeans no he's gonna look nice like that's why he man god damn it man <laughs> express you can't leave us i know you can't leave you us. you can't you can't trim some of the fat if that that's all yeah. you gotta do just trim some fat we gotta find a way to make this work we gotta find a way like, to make this work i mean they've been 40 percent off for like Four weeks, it feels like. In a row. No, dude. I know. I got the same email. I I'm like, know. I feel like I got this email already. They're forty like percent off. Still, 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 still. Yeah. I know. Oh, by the close. By the close. I'm getting. I'm. I gotta get a time to get to the factory outlet. That too. Dude, dude those near us. That's that's yeah. the spot. If you're worried about like, express prices, get to the factory outlet. That's whoo. Steals. Are like are the factory outlets closing? Yeah, they're part of the part of that group. That some of them some of them are. I think it's mostly regular stores, but some of them are they, the outlet stores. So keep your eyes on those ones. Those will, those yeah. are ones that uh, you can't lose. They do take up a lot. Of, I will say this. There's only one place where Express kind of did went wrong was they do take up a lot of space. Yeah. Like, yeah. I don't think every mall needed the men's store. Because there's, I don't right. think we all needed the Express Men's store. I think you were just there's a little stretch. I don't think we really needed that. Yeah, that extra space. You know, yeah, the extra space. I think we you all could have just kept this in one spot. Consolidate the women's clothing a little bit. You can make that work, and then give us yeah. a couple of shelves, a couple of racks. Yeah. We're used to that most of these stores, anyways, and it works fine. It works fine. You're right. Big footprint, the Express store. Yeah, big footprint. Big Meanwhile, footprint, yeah, you go footprint. to old Old Navy, and it's like you're bumping into people because the clothes are on top of each other. They're so close together. <laughs> so we at least had that. We were comfortable at express. Never yeah, take that man. away from us. You know, and you know how many songs I put on the sounds of Rush playlist that I found while just like being in express. Yeah. Like, in the changing room. Like, Absolutely. Man, we can't lose express dude. We got to save it. We can't let express go out like all these restaurants. And no, not on Circuit our watch. City. We're here. Hashtag yeah, Save it. Express. Get yes. on the bandwagon right now. You heard it here first on the Brunch Breakdown. We are here. You're here to yes. save you, Express. Hashtag Brunch Cares, the initiative. <laughs> All right, Dan. Since we were talking about Express leaving the malls, let's talk <laughs> about malls. And the NFL draft just happened. So let's draft malls. Four picks. Four picks. Our favorite 
stores in malls. All right. Mm -hmm. And we'll okay. see who has the better mall at the end of this. All right. So we're including malls are still nostalgic. People don't even go. Yeah. So stores in malls that are there today, even some of the older stores, like you mentioned, that are closed. Oh yeah. And then Any of them. We're, we're we're opening this up to the food court as well. Yes. Yes. Food court Boy, as well. This is going to be tough. I have a I have a very they you know I they have, have the big board. I've got a big board. <laughs> Dude, I've been in the war room for this one. I was like, if he goes this way, I'm going that way. I know what's going yeah. on here. I like, you know, so I'm man, this is going to be right. really, really tough, but I, I can't wait. This is going to be really fun. All right. Who's going to first pick? I'm going to, you know what? I'm going to be generous. I'm going to let you have the first pick. This was your, this was your topic. So I'm going to let you, you have the first pick and just. Steal one right off the board in front of me. And the first pick in the 2024 Brunch Breakdown Mall Draft, I'm taking the Sharper Image. Oh, man. There's oh, no store great pick. that I've spent more time and didn't buy a thing in ever than the yeah. Sharper Image. Yeah. That is mm. just the mall store. The reason yep. you go to the mall and do nothing the sharper image is there. I don't know anybody who's ever bought anything from the sharper image. Nothing. So, <laughs> but there's not one person who can't tell me they didn't go in there and sit in a chair, mess with a robot, do anything. Yeah. The sharper image, number one. Yeah. I took that off my board. No doubt about it. That's a great, great pick. Um, I'm going to change my plan here. I'm going to go okay. out of order. Cause okay. I'm, cause what you, you taking that away from me makes me fear losing this one. I maybe wouldn't have typically gone number one first round for this for me, but I think I have to do it. I have to go out and take it before I lose it. The Discovery Channel store. <laughs> oh, okay. Yes, like a kid's sharper image, <laughs> if you will. The Discovery Channel store. They probably weren't in every mall, but man, did I spend so much time in there looking at all those gadgets and toys and different things and – Absolutely, absolutely loved it. The Discovery Channel store didn't have a long enough run, but that's my. That's got to be my first round pick. That's got to be my first Man. round pick. All right. Uh, <laughs> so my second one. Okay. Going old school. Going old school. These stores are long gone. Mm -hmm. Long gone. National record mart. Oh, I knew it. I knew you were going there. National record mart. Man. That is my second pick. Come on. I, and you know why? I Because I, I almost forgot about music stores because it's been so long since, you know, we bought music in stores and all that. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I almost forgot about it, but I saw someone put up like a meme that was like, remember when we used to have to listen to albums like this? <laughs> and it was like on the wall. <laughs> right. <laughs> Put the headphones <laughs> on. <laughs> You could pick between like yes. five albums to like stand there and listen mm -hmm. to. How mm -hmm. wild is that? <laughs> like music is air now. It's air. <laughs> we literally used to listen to like two songs and be like, all right, I'm going to spend $18 on this. Like, this all right, it. let's yep. go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's a wonderful pick. And uh, I'm sticking to the same position category. That's a, uh, that's okay. a running back. If you will, I'm picking a running back of, uh, right. of similar nature there. Give me FYE. For your mm. entertainment, mm. Um, so not only did we have the music, but then we had the in, the introduction to DVDs, uh, some TV memorabilia in there as well. Kind of a modern age, newer version of uh, National Record Mart is is where it all started. So give me give me Fye, all the entertainment, good stuff in there, dude. Shouts to Fye because Fye, unlike all the others. The National Record Marts, the Sam Goodies of the World, they rebranded. FYE are still in malls. Yes. They basically made themselves like my next pick, Spencer's Gifts. Oh. And they've basically made themselves like Spencer's. That's really, you go and if you go in there, you basically just look outside, you're like, oh, that's Spencer's now. That's cool. And so, Spencer's. Throwing Spencer's in there. Man. Or that one, that one hurts. The third pick. That your third pick is Spencer's. I wasn't sure if you were going to include Spencer's. Oh, that dude, one's tough. Spencer's. That Every one's tough. poster I owned, and my whole 
like I remember my parents we got our walls painted uh we painted the walls got new carpet all this stuff I forget what grade I was in probably like eighth grade or seventh grade or something and then I, my mom was like what color do you want your walls it's like doesn't matter they're gonna be covered with posters <laughs> <laughs> it truly doesn't matter they're right. going to be covered with posters yeah yeah so she got me some like bland eggshell color and it just didn't matter like you couldn't see a space of the wall because <laughs> all the posters like every single poster i got was either from the scholastic book fair or spencer's love spencer's love that yeah. pick um for my third pick you know this one is more personal to me and it's like if this store would have gone away in my high school years it would have been as equally devastating as what the thought of express going away right now like where <laughs> do i buy clothes <laughs> and not only clothes this store had some other things too a little off the wall but again for me part of who i am hot topic Hot Topic, where would I be without you? The years 2000 to 2009, honestly, without Hot Topic. I don't know where else I bought clothes. And um, yeah, just part of the bigger brand. So I had to go Hot Topic there. Yeah, ah, man. Yeah, the Hot Topic, hot topic on the list. Uh, yeah, 100% was on the big board. They were, the, in. obviously, they were, the best player available. Like it was, it was definitely my best player available. <laughs> <All right>. <laughs> <laughs> Grabbed it right up for sure. Oh man. All right. Uh, and for my last pick, fourth pick, this was a tough one, but also an easy one. Okay. Going to the food court, my friend. Okay. Grabbing up Sabaro. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Grabbing up Sabaro. Had it on my big board. Um, let's see. Where did I have that? Ooh. I had that as my as my third best available. Oh, okay. So I'm okay. I'm okay. But that just le- right. now I've got two. Oh, I've got two really strong players that I've got to pick between. Oh, no. I just, I just saw another one. Oh. Uh, this is a huge decision. This is a huge. This could make or break my draft. Because I'm going and back on I'm, the clock. I'm going to the food food court as well. And my final pick. Greatest jingle of all time, by the way. <laughs> so um, funny. Love it. Love it. Um I'm going Cinnabon. I'm going Cinnabon. Oh! I'm going Cinnabon. This was a really, really, really difficult decision. Um, I can now tell you that I was, uh, I had, I have left Auntie Anne's and Mrs. Fields cookies as free agents out there because I, I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't pick them over Cinnabon. I couldn't do it. So that had to be my, my fourth pick, but damn, that was a, that was a tough one. That was a tough one, but I feel good about it. Wow. Wow. Just wow. iconic, would, an iconic brand. Who would be your free agent signing? Who's your who's your free agent signing? Between those two, I think I think I gotta go Auntie Anne's. I do. Okay. I think I gotta go Auntie Anne's. Just because you can get the 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 yeah. salty, the cinnamon sugar, all there. Yeah. 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 But those yeah. are uh, some tough it ones. Was, it was tough because I like I feel like it would either be man. I'm leaning piercing pagoda. Oh wow! You know, wow, I'm leaning piercing pagoda, and I think that would probably be my pick. There's, it's like champ sports mm-hmm. and piercing pagoda would be the two that I was like on the fence about trying to figure out every reason why they deserve to be in the top four, right. but. <laughs> They just couldn't make it. Couldn't they make just, it in. They just couldn't make it. So too too much uh, competition there. It's tough. Strong yeah. draft class. Yes. You very know? strong. Very strong. Wow. All right, TD, <laughs> so, run down your run down your four. Run down who'd you who going you down the four? Sharper image, national record mart, Spencer's, and Sabara. 
that I don't know if that's beatable, to be honest with you. That's an incredible <laughs> class. Uh, I've got the Discovery Channel store. Then I went FYE, third round Hot Topic, fourth round Cinnabon. I mean, I love your picks. Yeah, it's just some sneaky ones, some sneaky ones, yeah. I love your picks. Man, good times. Good stuff. <laughs> Oh, uh, good. Time. Is it weird that neither of us picked Express? Is it weird that we didn't pick <laughs> Express? <laughs> After we just spent 15 minutes mourning over them, is that kind of weird? I, I didn't know it. <laughs> oh no, feels a little. Bad. I hope Express tuned out by now. <laughs> Oops. Oh, They're man. not nostalgic net yet. A lot of this was nostalgia, no! so there's not enough nostalgia there, I guess. Yeah, that's well, it. We, we want to believe. We want to believe. So, <laughs> <laughs> jeez, <laughs> somebody's calling us out for that one. You're like, wait a minute. Well, yeah, that express endorsement has gone away now because <laughs> I put piercing pagoda over it. Yeah. <laughs> I think they're not going to be happy about that. Not quite. Oof. Oh boy. <laughs> Well, that was our mall draft. If you want to give us your top four mall stores, let us know. Uh, and we'll get Chris's next week. All right, Dan, it's time. We haven't done brunch court in a minute. Yeah, it's Let's been a get it going. While. Let's, Let's get, it get going. some brunch court going. Let's go. Let's go. I'm ready. So I'm ready. I mean, I mean, where do we start? Where do we start? I think we're gonna start with our good friends um at Oreo, who, as you know, have gotten right. pretty crazy over the years. Uh, with some mm -hmm. different varieties. But Didi, this one may be going a little too far. But I want to ask you in particular, because what we are looking at right now is the Sour Patch Kids limited edition Oreo. For those of you listening and not watching, uh, it's Sour Patch Kids flavored uh, cookie and cream. And so it's a it's the golden Oreo. And you see kind of like the the red, the blue, and the orange speckles, and then the white cream that also has the speckles in it. Um, Didi, known Sour Patch kid, Kids enthusiast, I'd love to know what you're thinking. Listen, um, Sour Patch Kids just put out a lemonade flavor, and I'm obsessed with it. I love Sour Patch Kids, Ooh. for those who don't know. Yeah, it's, it's really good. It's like called Summertime Lemonade or something, and they're all okay. great. I mean, listen. Because, and honestly, because only because I'm a Sour Patch Kids fan, I'm going to try this. Like, there's going to be a, I'm going to find this. There's okay. going to be a live taste test for the show for sure <laughs> as soon as I find this. Because I have to taste this because, like, I'm a Sour Patch Kids fan. I like Oreos. So I got to do it. I got I got to do it. I'm going to try it. I don't know if this is a good idea. I don't know about the, there's something about the, cookie part that i don't think is going to be right i think the mm. cream part will be fine yeah i don't think the cookie part i think the cookie part might be too much or it might not be good i don't know one of the two is going to be wrong here yeah so these are like, out may these are out may 6th so we're coming up may on 6th. that very soon and let's go i did see a description of somebody who had tasted one and i don't know if this helps or hurts and it might not be a really great description basically they said take if you were to take the the dust, the candy dust off of Sour Patch Kids, okay, and dump that into a glass of water, and then take a golden Oreo and dunk okay. it into that water and eat it, that's how it would taste. <laughs> okay. I don't okay. know if that helps or not. I don't know. If that does not help at all. That does not help at yeah, all. Yeah, the dunking it in water is what I think throws it off. Like, I, I kind of get where the flavor might be going. You have to like, just almost eliminate the dunking of the uh, water, but I get how it like it, it's coating it, but it's not like a punch. I'm sure it's a nice balanced flavor, I think. But we'll see May 6th. You'll be the first I am one very to try excited. Them. Oh, I'm fully finding these and trying them ASAP. So. Yes, You'll I'm be all the first for one this. to try them. So I'm all for trying this. Okay, got to do Excellent. it. Gotta Excellent, got to do it. You got to do it. Well, something that might help you wash down those Sour Patch Kid Oreos, okay, is from our friends at Pepsi, and they're always thinking of new things. 
We've tried mm-hmm. the mango Pepsi. We've tried the yep. different. Well, they got a lot. The vanilla nitro. What we have here out now in stores now is Pepsi lime, which makes sense, and Pepsi peach. Hmm. Pepsi peach. Um, I'll tell. I'll give you my thoughts at first. I think lime is a no brainer, right? Yeah. I feel like this. That's gonna work. Come on. Pepsi peach though. I think that's a tricky one because I think it's difficult to get an authentic flavor of peach without making it taste like artificial, like a candy would. Yeah. And I don't know. I don't know if that works with Pepsi. We I didn't think mango was going to work either. And it was actually pretty good. So I guess I can't judge until I try one. I'm just a little concerned that maybe peach it's meant to be summery. And it's just a bit of a reach here. Uh, listen, Pepsi does flavors better than the rest of them. You're right. I, and I don't like Pepsi better than I like Coke, but I like cherry Pepsi better. I like mango Pepsi. Mm-hmm. I know I'm going to like lime Pepsi. That yeah. I'm going to grab that up. That's going to be awesome. No doubt. Uh, you know, I trust Pepsi. I trust them. If they're putting it out, I'm just going to trust them. Like, I, I got to trust them. I'm going to try this because I trust Pepsi with the flavors. I think they can pull this off, you know? But peach is hard because, like, a lot of seltzers tried to do peach, and I didn't like any of the peach seltzers. And yeah. I'm a seltzer fan. So, like, and I'm not a big fan of the peach seltzers. So, um, you know, when the seltzer boom was going on, I feel like a lot were peach. And I don't think you'll you'd be hard-pressed to find a peach seltzer now, I bet, because I, the, the, that market research did not go well. <laughs> so Great point. we shall see. But Great yeah, shouts point. to Pepsi, man. Shouts to Pepsi. I'm a big fan of uh, definitely this lime. I'm, I'm, oh, I'm yeah. amped about that. That's going to be like, big time. But yeah. great point about them being better at flavors than everybody else too. So you have to trust them. You yeah. have to trust them because it's been wild before, but it's worked. It's worked. Yeah. So Pepsi Peach for your summer. Sounds like it could be right. uh, rather refreshing. Um, all right. So this last one for Brunch Court. I've been holding on to it a little for a little while, but it is a newer product. Uh, but before I even show you, um, nope, I'm not even gonna save that. I'm gonna save that information. I'm just gonna show, okay. show this to you. So what you have on your screen is from our good friends at Heinz, and it's Heinz Classic Barbecue. Yes, B A R B I E, and Heinz Tomato. Kenchip, Kenchip, with K E N in blue letters, and we have pink bottles for both of them. Obviously, teaming up with Mattel uh, after the Barbie movie. Um, I can tell you this though. Now, this is only currently available in the United Kingdom and Spain. This okay. is Heinz UK who came okay. up with this, um, and so obviously, still. Reaping off of the huge success of the Barbie movie. Um, I also want to share that the barbecue is actually a mix of vegan mayo and barbecue sauce. So it's not just regular barbecue sauce. Oh, it's a no. mix of vegan mayo and barbecue sauce. And oh, yes, no. they're both pink. They're both like that's the actual color. The color you're seeing isn't the actual color, but it's close. It but is a pink, pink bottle. It's not. It's bright pink. Yes. So you remember back in the day where we had the green and the purple ketchup? Yeah. yeah. Failed experiment. So this is yeah. purple ketchup and purple barbecue. Oh boy. Sauce. They did. They did dye these pink. Oh boy. <laughs> Your thoughts. <laughs> oh boy. It just got worse the more you talked about it. Because <laughs> at first I literally just thought, oh, they're putting out like pink bottles and it's gonna be same red ketchup, but it's just gonna be like pink bottles, gonna be red ketchup, be cool. No, no, I don't want pink ke- I don't want colored ketchup. I don't want colored barbecue sauce. I sure as hell don't want mayonnaise in my barbecue sauce. That sounds absolutely disgusting. Um you know, this is about to happen to me in uh in when we talk about music here in a minute and sounds mm-hmm. brunch and uh like you're you're late guys <laughs> right like we were doing everything barbie ip 
basically started this time last year and went for the rest of the year. But now, oh boy. There it is. Ooh. You can see the I, pain. Mm, <laughs> I don't know if we need that. I don't know if we need that. I also don't need mayo barbecue sauce. That's so gross, Dan. I don't know, I don't man. Need... I, I don't know. I think that could be okay. I think that flavor profile might work. I love both of those. I think like ketchup and mayo work. People mix. I think barbecue and mayo. I think that could actually work. I I do not I don't, want. I don't want it to be pink, but I also <laughs> don't want it to be whatever color mayo and barbecue light brown. I don't. I do <laughs> not want mayo in my barbecue sauce. That is. A, I we do not agree on that one. So you don't. Um, so you wouldn't put like a, a cheeseburger with barbecue sauce and mayonnaise on it. No, I don't want the mayonnaise mm. there. Mm. Mm. The mayonnaise out of there. I don't want it. But okay, okay. Uh, uh, but I just am like Heinz. You're late. You're late. What were you <laughs> doing? Where were you when everyone and their mother was using Barbie to do everything? So they here's year. the thing. Barbie... They teased this last year. They did <laughs> on 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 social media. They teased it, and then people flipped out, and they're like, "Do it." Make it real. And so then they did. It just took them a long time because they probably weren't prepared. The marketing <laughs> department, were, they threw that out there. And product development's like, what did you do? Oh, my God. So it did. It took this... them a while. but And I don't know why this isn't in America. I don't know either. That's what I want to know. Why, <laughs> that why I don't that, understand why at is all. That? No. Like, yeah. You know, listen, if you <laughs> like colored ketchup, or barbecue sauce with mayonnaise, this is for you. Uh, I just remember getting green ketchup, being so excited because it was a different color ketchup, and then wasting a whole burger Yeah. after taking one bite because I like looked at it and I was like, oh my God, it looks like someone threw up in my burger. And I just couldn't <laughs> get past it. Like It literally was just like oozing green. I just threw it out. I was like, I can't do this. So, oh. Yeah, I don't <sighs> know. I, I want to try it, but I don't know if we'll ever... Get the chance, oh, man. but the pink you gotta find it. The pink's rough. If if you haven't, if you're not watching the video. If you're listening on Spotify or something, <laughs> grab your phone, grab your tablet, take a look at yeah. this picture right here, real quick. Oof. Um, Oof. interesting. The 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 Brits yeah. do some interesting condiments, that's for sure. So I'm sure it's yes. working out just fine over there. <laughs> um, so that's brush court. That's brunch that's brunch court. court. Been Dude, a minute. That yeah. was a solid brunch court. It's been a minute. Yeah, been a minute. Yeah. Oh man, that was beautiful. Good job, Dan. Good Thank work. You. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Well, let's get into what we are listening to let's this week on the brunch breakdown. And first off, and you might have this too, and you know, where we can talk about it. But uh Teddy Swims put out I tried everything with therapy one part one point five. That's right. <laughs> don't 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 get it confused with two. And uh he teased this song on Instagram like last week. Uh Apple Juice, this song's fire. Like Come on, man. I'm still putting booze in my apple juice. Get the come on. Woo. Fire. Fire. Amazing. Shouts to Teddy. I'm happy Amazing. he gave us a little bit. Like, I don't even, I didn't even need it. And I'm so happy for him and all of his success. And I feel like some of that has to do to the brunch breakdown, talking about him for years. Years. Before all of this crazy success that he's having. But I'm so happy for him. But uh, yeah, but apple juice, Teddy swims. Fire. We've been on Teddy for a long, long time. You're right. Years. Oh, yeah. We've got the proof. <laughs> The proof is in the play. Yeah. You'll find the episode back from 2018, this, whatever it yeah. was. Um, is- yeah, of course, I had Teddy too. Uh, yeah, he gave us four new tracks. Apple Juice certainly is uh, one I had, uh, but I'll throw uh, Hammer to the Heart on there too. Nice. Um, I mean, they're all amazing, and he's showing why he won my brunchy for Person of the Year, and I, I hope 1.5, yeah, that part two. When are we getting part two? Who knows? But Teddy just continued to lay him down fire. Can't do anything wrong yeah. right now. Dude, and there's no hurry. He's just that. Exactly. Like, he's everywhere, man. Everywhere mm-hmm. right now. So, yeah. shout out to Teddy. Uh, uh, this is actually inspired by your pick last week. Did you put Gus Dapperton on the playlist last week or the week yes, before? Uh, last week, yeah. Last week. Okay, last week you did. What You Won't Do For Love, which when you said this, I didn't know it was going to be the cover of the song I know of the song that's been covered 8 million times, <laughs> 8 million times. And his Just version is really good. 
Yeah. Because if you don't fuck up that groove, you kind of can't fuck up that song. And so I was like pleasantly surprised to hear that song. And it's great. So what I'm putting on the playlist is Gus Dapperton and Little Yachty Fallout, which is from the Lyrical Lemonade album. And uh, it's just a really great. It's a really good song. Like good Yachty on there. Good Gus Dapperton on there. And I'm put throwing that on there. So more Gus for everyone. On the All playlist. about that. Sweet. Love more Gus. Yeah. Yes. Let's do yes. that. I like it. Yeah. Um, it's another 21 Pilots track for everybody to enjoy. They <laughs> released their third and hopefully final single of their upcoming album. Three's enough. It's a 13 track album. We only need three of them. Um, Backslide is the new song. And it's very clear that we are getting more of the old school 21 Pilots vibes with this new album. Uh, Clancy coming out now, May 24th. Um, very, very excited. We are getting a music video for all 13 yeah. songs, which is crazy. Absolutely crazy. Uh, but I love it. Love the sound. Love the, vi the vibes of this. Again, this is the old school 21 Pilots vibe uh, with their new one, Backslide. All right. I am I'm very excited for this project. They... Uh... We we're saying on Instagram, I think, that they were like, it's out. there's a video coming for every song. And the reason why is because I love these songs enough to lip sync in front of a camera. <laughs> a a camera bunch of times. That's how much I love Screaming audiences. Are I was like, that's hilarious. <laughs> like, that's hilarious. That's hilarious. <laughs> All right. Yes. Uh, last one. And I am, dude, I'm kind of embarrassed. Um, because I'm really late on this. I'm like as late as Barbie and Heinz here. Um, <laughs> okay. Chapel Roan? Where have I been? Chapel Roan uh, was basically the most talked, one of the most talked about performers at Coachella this year. Um, and I just never heard. And oh my God, dude. Yeah. Dude, I've been going down a wormhole of Chapel Roan and I am just obsessed with this dancey pop, all these these lyrics that are really explicit in songs that don't sound like they're going there. And right. it is just, everything is good. She put out a new song this week called good luck, babe. Um, probably put casual on the playlist too. It's an older song of hers, but man, dude, I am obsessed. Like I am all about this. Like I am. Yeah. And yeah. if you can find the live Coachella performances or go to see a show live, do that because like the energy is outrageous yeah so much fun I, the music i'm finding yeah, like, all this out <laughs> yeah yeah absolutely absolutely um yeah but making making some waves and i just slowly i'd hear some songs and i'm like yeah this is good this is good and then yeah check out some more and then boom yeah you're right coachella blew up yeah big time and, a, and apparently one of the stories of this Olivia Rodrigo tour that's on right now, she's opening for Olivia, is like a bunch of people are going to this, like parents taking their kids to the show are leaving like, who the fuck was this? Because if you have kids at the show, because I saw this piece in the LA Times, New York Times, one of the times, and they were talking about how it's like parents are going to the show and you got to go early. You got kids, you're going early. Mm -hmm. And they're like, who the hell is this? And it's Chapel Road. And they're right. like losing their mind over Chapel right. Road. So I'm like, that is. <laughs> Oof. Yeah. Man. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. I've been fooled. That's all, basically all I've listened to for the last like week. It's Chapel addicting. Road. Yeah. And I'm like, how I did I that. miss this? I get that. And for any of my, and for anybody out there who knew about this, I'm going to fight you, including you, Dan. I'm going to fight you. You can fight me. You can fight one of our other friends that uh, probably knew even a little bit before I did. Uh, I'll leave her name off the air until after the podcast but you can does your name start with a c yes it does <laughs> i knew it i knew it when i listened to it when i listened when i fucking mm, when i heard chapel road for the first time and then i looked her up on instagram and then i was watching the videos and i was like you know who knows about chapel road christy knows about chapel road yep. guaranteed knows about chapel road no absolutely. doubt she knows absolutely so there you go direct them to her because yeah mm. Mad. I'll take some of it. I'll take some of but, it. Yeah. But yeah. Uh, last one for me. Uh, here's something new. Here's someone you haven't heard of before. Rec Hall. 
uh, and they're an alt trio from uh, your neck of the woods, Southern California. And hey. they put out a new track this week called How Long, and it caught my ear big time. And it is – we talked about the weather to kind of open the podcast. This song, it's summery. It is Southern California vibing. It is getting you ready for some windows down summertime jamming uh, from this uh, alt rock trio uh, called Rec Hall, R E C Hall, and their song called How Long. Enjoy it. Nice. Yeah. Okay. I'm ready. Dude, I'm ready for all the summer music, man. I'm ready for it all. Oh, no I'm doubt. ready for it all. Yeah. I need it. Feels like people are on the mission to give us good summer songs. Except yes, Taylor's finally. Song. Everybody's ready. <laughs> We're going to get songs of the, the summer, page. maybe multiple songs of the summer this year, as opposed to yes. zero last year. Yes. Yeah. It feels like everyone's <laughs> on the same page. We're all going to get good songs this summer. So I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready. Mm -hmm. Oh man. Well, that is what we're listening to. Make sure you check out the sounds of brunch playlist on Spotify. Tell Siri, tell Alexa to play the sounds of brunch. Daniel, another great show. Another hearty menu. Yep. Any final thoughts? Uh, if anybody knows where Chris is, let us know. <laughs> And, uh, Didi, maybe if we can get Anthony Edwards involved with Express, I mean, that could be our saving grace. But that it all started here the Save Express movement, hashtag brunch cares, yep. hashtag Save Express. Uh, let's go, people. The internet can do some really disgusting things, but do some wonderful things too. Let's make this one of them. That's right. Save Express, the presidential candidate that is that is going to save Express. That's who we're voting for. That's our vote. It's that simple. That's our <laughs> vote. That's the brunch breakdown. We're out.